What I'm here today to talk to you about is your story, but bringing to my readers who are all over the place, not many of them from this exact neighborhood, the story of the good stuff that's going on here is my commitment to tell the story of our community, my community, your community, our community. So I think one way that that story can be told is for you to tell it as you see it. Wonderful. Like, I, I, when I first came up here, like, I, I felt like, like I didn't fit in, you know, I didn't know anybody. It was like a very small community, you know, everybody was so friendly and I, and I wanted to get involved because I was kind of lost. Like, I'm just fresh, I'm new and everything, so I try to get in touch with all these community centers and sanctuary and school, a lot of outside programs, and now I know everybody, and it's just, it's, it's lovely. Uh, I'm here because I'm working and stuff. Uh, I think a good story would be to tell everybody what we did this summer and what our goals are. Um, my big thing is like the water and the pollution and um, like the Hudson River, for example, just how we're trying to and like wa watching our waters and studying and trying to find ways that we can um, work our way around it, like work our way around cleaning it or helping it or protecting it some other way. We have underwater creatures, like things that, many, many things that live under the water, in the sea, right. those things, and those things are very crucial to our survival, I, I think. So that's one of the most important things that's not, like having trash floating in the water, that's as big as Rhode Island, that's crazy, yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. just crazy. Environmental trash, trash, garbage, yeah, like trash cans and stuff. Yeah, so less people litter and stuff. Like the fact that we live here, we have to take care of it, but obviously we're not. We don't take any other species in consideration because like we think that it's only, that it's only just us and that everything revolves around us, but we have other responsibilities to take care of, like other species that's in danger, like the bees, that's currently in danger right now because like we need them to pollinate like, all of our flowers and food or whatnot and then after that we won't have any like have the stuff that we have today but we're just wasting it and just doing dumb stuff with it it's all cause and effect it all goes into each other and that's something that people need to think about too that they're thinking about their actions but for every action there's a reaction and that reaction might not be affecting them, but it's affecting somebody else or something else. But that's also what storytelling is about. Storytelling and story writing and newspapers or journalism or the web is making the connections so that people understand what's going on, what's going on. We are the eyes and ears of the people and, and what we and you being thinking of yourselves today as journalists, just for a minute, is how do you get the word out? How do you get the story out? Having one person, one person's thoughts and ideas and them spreading it out makes a difference. That influences another person and influences another person and all of a sudden there's this whole like, yes. team, this whole army of people that feel passionate about it. Like, yeah. It's like witnessing and telling everyone else. They need to know. Because like, the more that people don't know, the more ignorant they get and the more they will keep doing it to keep harming everyone else. Why do, why do, we, why do, we, why do you care about garbage? People look at us as like a, you know, a poor you know, community to anybody else. So they'll dump stuff in the Hudson right there near the block from our houses. And then like, it will just go up from there. Like there's different levels of, it doesn't stop. Like, it yeah. just keeps going. I'm going to ask you to write one word that's the slug of the story, it could be trash, it could be bees, it could be water, and then I want you to write two, two sentences that tells me something about the story. I want people to throw trash away in a garbage can instead of on the ground. I know a lot of my friends that throw their garbage on the ground because they're just too lazy to go to a nearby garbage can and throw it away there. So, 
what you've got is a problem about trash. And again, I think what, what the way to tell the story might be give examples. Was one of the things you wanted more garbage cans? So maybe that's what the story is about, which is what you said initially. But you need examples. The people of the third planet from the sun. This is the story about how they never acknowledged. Nobody cares for what they have to say or what they feel. In order to get their words out there, someone has to care. Someone has to write a story for the people. Now, can I just say that's a beautiful piece of writing. That, that stands alone. That, that like stands alone. That's, that, exactly. That, that made that's me a, cry a little bit. That's, a, that's very, cry. very well written. Change. This is a story about how we are hurting our community and we need to change. There is a domino effect. What I'd, what I'd like you to do is to tell the story of change through examples of how we're hurting our community and need to change, give examples, one, two, three, and how the domino effect kicks in, specifics. That's the trick to telling a story. Here's the concept that you want to get out, that there's a need for change. Change is going to come. Like, don't just stick to one thing, be open-minded, and just keep Think of other possibilities for other things. Well done. Well done. Recycle, 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 recycle